I'm getting ready to share with you how to set up an automated drip email sequence in ClickFunnels tutorial that's gonna help you remarket to people that opt into your email list completely automated that's very engaging and gets them to take the next step in your funnel. So stick around, you're gonna wanna see what's coming next. Yo, what is up, Zachary Babcock here, former drug addict, spent over five years of my life in prison, turned underdog entrepreneur and the prove them wrong prodigy, top 200 iTunes podcast host. What is up, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you want the best tips uh, for lead generation and customer acquisition to turbocharge your business, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications, that way you don't miss anything. With that out the way, I'm getting ready to share with you how to set up a, easily set up an automated drip email sequence inside of ClickFunnels that's gonna enable you to set up a sequence of emails that are very engaging, that gets your, your ideal customers, which are at this point a curious prospect, and turn them into happy customers through your email sequences that lead them to your next offer. So with that being said, let's head to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to do this. All right, to set up a drip email sequence so that you can remarket to people when they opt in to your funnel and that you get their email. First and foremost, on the page that they actually opt in, you have to have a form. So I'm gonna open this up to show you. You have to have a form with their name and email address uh, that they actually opt in. And you set the button, obviously, to set action and uh, and submit the order. I won't go into finer detail about that. If you want to check out that actual particular video on how to set up an opt-in page, check out this video right here, and then come on back to this video, uh, which is yeah, cool. So now that we're going back into this, so once you have that set up, once that page is set up, and you had the button set and the and the uh, form where you can gather the leads. Then inside of that same page on that same funnel step, you just go here to automation, all right. And then once you get into automation, uh, you could set up, um, you could set a new set a new action or a new email or a new SMS text. So let me explain what each one of those is. If I want to set up a new action, I'd click this. I would name the action. I would name the condition. For this one, it's everyone. If I had a sales page, if they actually bought it, I could uh, set the condition for uh, did not purchase or everyone who purchases or everyone. Um, so those are the different. Uh, Things that you can set since this is not a sales page, it's opt in. I'm gonna just anybody that gives me their email address, what I'm gonna set. You set up the integration, click funnels, internal. I just always leave it right there. And then the action to do uh, you can either add them to a list, remove them from a list, send yourself an email notification, put a tag on them uh, so that you can you set up smart lists and remarket them later on, or you can remove the tag. Um, and then also you can select if like it's add to list, select which list you want to add them to. And if it's uh, you know removed from list, you would select which list you want to remove them from. And you can also set the delay. So say I didn't want to do this to five days after they got it, or five days and five four hours. Boom! And I have that set up. And then I create the action funnel um, test. I had to fill that out. And then boom, that is set for five days and four hours. It's going to add them to that list. Um, so that's what add a new action is. Now add a new email is so you click on that and you, um, you you set it up like this. You set up uh, from name. Um, I just put Zachary Babcock. The subject automatically filled that. Um, subject, uh, you would put your subject headline, write something engaging. I'm just going to put tests. Um, and then you'd have your SMTP configurations set up uh, through ClickFunnels, how you re remarket to them. And then only send that uh subscribers active in past X days. You could do that if you wish. I just leave that uh, blank at zero so it sends it to everybody. And then condition, uh, you wanna send that to everyone who opts in. And then you can pick one of these templates. Uh, I already have one of my templates built out. Uh, so I'll just check, uh, you use one of those. I selected that template. And also email delay. I can, you know, this would be the first one, so I'd want to send this instantly. Or maybe if I want to send it an hour, I always send mine instantly, the first one. Uh, and then I'd create the email. Now, let's say it was the second email. I want to send it on the second day. I just put after after one day if it was the second email. Uh, and then I create it uh, and so forth. And then boom. Now I have that email that's going to go out immediately. And I can always go back in here and edit, you know, how many uh if I wanted to send it out the next day or whatnot, and also click an open editor, 
and then that opens the actual email editor. I already had this pre-templated out, um, but I can just you know delete that, write out my email. Um, if I want to put in um, uh, like a link, so like if I wanted to link to something. I'd highlight that and then select this link button and then um, I would delete that and paste in the link that I'd want it to. Uh, this icon right here is to unlink it and this one if I select that uh, make link open in a new window. If I wanted to keep them in the email I could select that and so forth and then I'd have that ready to go and I'd just type out my email and um, you can also put in settings like change the font the alignment, the background color, you know, customize it to your needs. Uh, right here, if I click on that little plus button, I can add in an image, I can add a button in there, I can add a bullet point list, I can, um, you know, add in whatever that I want inside of here. You can play around however you like, and then you always click save. And um, also, your pre header, they automatically pre populate this. So uh, you want to you want to put something in here so it takes off that get 40% off this week's lineup. So I'm just gonna put test, but you would you know want to write something engagement because that's what people see, you know, in, in their email before they even open it. So you want to you know something not clickbaity, but clickbaity that's still relevant where it makes them want to click and uh, see what you got going on. And then after you have all that, then you click save, and voila that email set then I can add a new email and so forth and then if you do SMS text marketing which I don't you can if you set up Twilio or whatnot and then you're good to go and that is how you simply set up a, a email drip sequence inside of ClickFunnels all right I hope that was very simple if that if that tutorial was very easy to digest and implement let me know in the comments if it wasn't let me know where some parts where you just got lost at so that I know I can come back and make these videos better in the future um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful and if it sucked give me a thumbs down be honest let me know I'd love to hear your opinion I want to get better because I want to serve you better um, if you want the best tips on how to turbocharge your business and customer acquisition without all the BS make sure you subscribe to this channel tap the bell notifications that way you don't miss anything and check out some of these cool videos that I'm getting ready to throw at you right now we put them hours in to bring them dollars in it's that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.